What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about cheaters in Modern Warfare 3 and how Activision's been posting some pretty big numbers of the amount of players that they have removed with the Ricochet engine. Now, before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. When it comes to what uh, Sledgehammer and of course, uh, it's pretty much Call of Duty in general, Activision has been talking about. They said the new machine that they have is learning, uh, kind of learning detection is deployed for cheaters. They have 23,000 accounts banned for cheating since 11-12. And so they're monitoring, uh, monitoring and enforcing throughout the holidays. Pretty much the cheaters uh, will get a lump of coal. Now, there's still been a lot of reports of cheating, especially now that Warzone is out. We always knew that was going to be an issue when Warzone was released. Cheating is definitely something that, um, you know, kind of runs rampant. It is a free-to-play thing. People are not purchasing the game. So that's always been an issue in any free-to-play game, really. Uh, cheaters definitely are going to, you know, have be more abundant, I guess, in those type of games. But even in multiplayer, you still experience some cheating from time to time. Not as bad as, uh, definitely not as bad as it would be in Warzone. But there's been a lot of players reporting that, um, they're seeing issues with cheaters not getting banned. They're reporting them, and, you know, it's pretty much blatantly obvious that these people are cheating, whether they're streaming or posting it on YouTube. And then you have a lot of players that are getting shadow banned uh, that are legit players that Activision really is not handling that well either. Uh, these players are getting shadow banned, and it's taking days and days and days for these players to be unbanned, even though they were not banned uh, legitimately. You know, that was something, I guess, that their system caught and they decided to ban this player or shadow ban this player. And then it's taking days for these players to be able to get back in the game. So you see this posted a lot on, on Twitter and Reddit of, of players getting shadow banned. It's even sometimes, you know, popular streamers or, you know, content creators, uh, maybe even some pro players in the pro scene are getting banned, even though they're not supposed to. And a lot of people feel like that the Ricochet engine does not work as, an intend as it was intended. And some people feel like that it's not even really a thing. I do think they have something there in place personally, but I'm not quite sure if it is as good as they act like it is. Yes, 23,000 accounts banned for cheating since 11-12. Sounds like a great thing. But my question is how many of those players have been allowed back into the game and how many of those players just made a brand new account uh, and pretty much got right back into the game as soon as they got banned. So overall, hopefully this will improve as time goes on. Uh, the one big issue I have in multiplayer, because you know I'm a big multiplayer person compared to Warzone, is when ranked play comes out. Ranked play is always full of cheaters, especially the higher tier ranked that you get. You start getting up in those top tiers in ranked, you experience a lot of cheating, whether it be in multiplayer ranked or in Warzone ranked. So I'm going to be kind of curious to see what goes on there. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Do you think that... Sledgehammer is doing a good job. Do you think Activision has done a good job with the Ricochet engine? I know they're still making some tweaks to it, making some new things, uh, kind of adding new things to it to you know, streamline it a little bit better to catch cheaters, I think, in a faster process. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And, of course, I'll catch you all next time. Peace.